Hi, welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Taurus. Hi Taurus placements, how you doing? So let's get started. Let's get on ahead and pray. Let's get it on out the way. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. I ask for clear, honest messages on behalf of Taurus placements. Sun, moon, and Venus rising. Clear, honest messages for Taurus placements. Sun, moon, and Venus rising. <sighs> All right, I feel better. I had to take a little break <laughs> to do a Gemini. Because, <laughs> you know, Gemini, I kept getting picking up on somebody's energy and I didn't like how it felt. So I had to just take a little breeze and now I'm doing better. I'm a little cold, though. But I am doing better. So how y'all doing? Taurus, it's been a whole week. Unless you've been joining me every day for the collectives. All right. So I mixed the Moon Seekers and the Umbrella Oracle deck. And we're going to just mix it up and get five cards. Let's see what Spirit got for you, okay? 111 just popped up. Angel number. What you got for Taurus placement? Sun, Moon, and Venus rising. What do you have? Mm hmm. Listen, Taurus, some of y'all are getting a lot of attention. A lot, a lot, so much attention. That jealousy is a shadow that only follows those that are shining stars. What the hell y'all been doing, Taurus, that y'all out here shining so damn bright, honey? Y'all shining so bright that, listen, your light is starting to attract some envy. Look, that's how, you know what people always say, that's how you know when you're doing right. If you sitting on your ass and ain't doing nothing, you ain't going to have no haters. The moment you start getting haters, that means, hey, or people getting jealous, you must get, you got to be doing something, <laughs> something right. But Spirit says to keep on shining, Taurus, don't let their shadows dim your glow, okay? Accountability. Spirit says it's time for you to break free from the blame game. Actual growth begins when our own actions, um... When we own our own actions and we take responsibility, you can choose accountability over blame. Now, I had to have the same conversation with Jim and I, but I'm feeling better, so now I'm not going to fuss about it. Grown people need to accept responsibilities. You cannot keep blaming people and becoming a victim. You can't say, well, I'm not successful because such and such did this, or this happened to me, or that happened to me. Listen, there's always two sides to the coin. Even if the side of the coin that you don't want to face is that you made a poor decision, that you let down, you didn't have proper boundaries. Why did you let this person around you? Why did you allow them to treat you this way? How did you come to meet this person in the first place? What was you doing before you met this person? What did you change after you met this person? How did this happen to you? There's another thing that you can do so you can start breaking it down so you can make better choices and decisions. Yes, it does not erase what happened to you but all i'm trying to get you to do is to look at your side own it own own what happened to you and make better choices so you can replay your steps and go you know what when i did this this is probably how i ended up here maybe i should do this a little bit differently just switch up your just switch it up i'm cold y'all i'm so cold <laughs> so i don't think i'm trying to be closed off it's just i'm very cold very cold um so Take responsibility, okay? Accountability is important. People always want to blame somebody else for why they're not somewhere in life. But the truth of the matter is you made a choice in the decision that got you in that situation or with that person or at that job or it, whatever. What did you do to get there? That's all spirit is saying. What did you do to get there? Okay. Deepest wish. Some of y'all have some deep desires close to your heart that you keep just between you and the divine, but the power of your prayers guide, um, let the power of your prayers guide those unspoken dreams. Do you have big dreams with just you and the divine? If you have a wish and it's deep in your heart, first of all, God loves to hear about it. And two, let your prayers guide you 
And then ask your spirit team to come in and help you to put in the action with those prayers so that you can manifest. Okay, that's it. Now, weird. <laughs> this is y'all next card. Weird. Your interests have taken a different path than expected. Embrace the evolution. It's a beautiful part of your journey. If you are if you are doing anything in the occult, people are gonna think you a little weird. But there is a whole community of people who will think that that's normal. Now, people who do the everyday Christianity, Muslim, you know, the traditional religions, they're going to look at you like, oh, gosh, ooh. first thing they want to say is we devil worship. That's not true. It's just that they, they be afraid to look inside the unknown. So some of y'all are going to be considered weird because you're doing things out of out of the ordinary. You're following the beat of your own drum. You're finding religion and God and uh, spirit in your own way. And that makes you weird because you're not walking the path uh, that everybody else is walking. You making your own path, your own lane. But there is a community of people who rock with that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're going to find your own tribe of people who will rock with your weird. Okay? Mind games. If someone attempts to convince you that your truth is false, it will be a form of manipulation. Rely on your own understanding of reality. There are people who will ma manipulate and gaslight your sense of reality. Yes, they will. If somebody is trying to convince you that your truth is false, you better check them right then and there. If you know you saw what you saw, you heard what you heard, don't let nobody gaslight you out of that, trying to manipulate your reality. Absolutely rely on your own understanding because that's your intuition talking to you. People will always have you guessing and second guessing your intuition. I can't tell you. There were so many times I had intuition, but I would suppress mine because people had me thinking that when I was using my intuition, I was judging people. And you know, when you go to church and you religious, they always, oh, you shouldn't be judging nobody. But I didn't realize that. No, that's my damn intuition trying to tell me red flag, red flag, red flag, <laughs> run. So I will be like, oh, I shouldn't judge them for that. I shouldn't say that. that. I shouldn't say that about them. That's not nice. But truth of the matter, it would just be my intuition alerting me that something was wrong. Now I listen to it. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I'm going with my intuition over what anybody says. I'm not letting nobody convince me it ain't what I think it is. If it is what I think it is, <clears throat> that's enough for me. And then if I take it to the great divine or I take it to my spirit team and they say, yeah, baby, it is what you think it is. They're the only ones I listen to. I'm going to be honest. Anybody outside of them, if I say, hey, y'all, was I looking at this wrong? And they tell me, yes, baby, you was looking at it wrong, then I will change it. But people, because I've had so many people that were deceptive or backstabby or uh, unloyal, I don't, I don't trust that I have to go with what the divine say. So if they be like, yeah, baby, they right. Maybe you should look at it differently. Then I'll look at it differently. But nine times 10, I'm going to go with my gut and I'm going to go with what they say. If they say this person's full of shit, you full of shit. <laughs> That's the end of the story. That's just the end of the story. Listen, spirit wants some of y'all to be specific about what you're trying to manifest. Speak it and it to existence exactly as you want it. But put action behind it. Show God. Listen, if you want something, don't just speak it. Put the action behind it as though it was already here. Show up. Do what you need to do. That helps your manifestation come into fruition. Now you're taking it from a thought and it becomes an actual tangible thing. Okay? Last card out is only a child. You are only a child and whatever burden you carry, it was not your fault. You have grown. You have learned. You have evolved. Be gentle with your past self. Listen, most adults have not been fortunate enough to have perfect parents, which is damn near all of us. So a lot of us have some childhood wound. Some childhood wounds are worse than others. Some of us were neglected. Some of us were beat on. Some of us have had sexual abuse. Not trying to trigger anybody. Some of us have, uh, you know, had to grow up fast. All of us have gone through something, something in our childhood um, that we didn't like. But just know that whatever happened to you, you were only a kid. You couldn't do nothing about it now, back then. But now you're an adult. So what happened to you was not your fault. And now what I said earlier about that accountability, you can't do that when you was a kid. You can't take accountability when you was a kid and you couldn't do nothing. But now you're an adult. 
So now it's time to have grown up to learn and to evolve. Now, in order for you to grow and evolve, sometimes that requires professional help. I am not a person who is going to tell you you're crazy if you go get help. I do not know why the black community is really bad with this sometimes. They will not go get help. Oh, such and such must be crazy. No, that is why those healers are there. So you can get over this so you can live your best life. Go sit on somebody's couch. I can't tell you the number of times. If I need to, I will go sit. On, if it feels like I can't handle it and I can't process how to get out of something, I will go sit on somebody's couch. I will talk it out and they will give me the tools that I need so that I can live better. Those are healers. That's why they are there. They went to school to be a professional to help you get over whatever wounding you have so you can live your best life. That's your responsibility. If you want to help little you, you got to heal. Big you has to take responsibility and say, little, little me, like I'm going to use myself as an example. Little Tasha couldn't do nothing about the stuff that happened to her, but big Tasha can. So I am now going to go back in my mind and heal that part of me. No, little Tasha, you couldn't defend yourself, but big Tasha can. And she'll whoop ass for you. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? But please, y'all, go get help. If you know that you can't get over something, something happened in your childhood, you got a mother wound, a father wound, or some child, some some really bad child experience that you cannot get past, by all means, go get help. That's why there are professionals there, okay? All right, let's move on. I am feeling much better. I ain't gonna see you in life. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. I am using the Lysanta Morta Tarot cards. I'm giving her a shout out. She is the angel of death. I love her. She's like a mother. All of y'all deal with Lysanta Morta you, in one way or another. You may say, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Every time you go through a transformation. <laughs> yes, you do. We all go through transformations. And she's a beautiful spirit. She's an archangel. I like to work with her. I know you can work with all the other archangels. Who says you can't work with her? She love to work with people too. So you can look into her. She she welcomes everybody. She is um, a lot of Hispanics work with her, but she is for everybody. She's an everybody spirit. Now, how you work with her though? You could now. This is the thing about her. She can go left. She can be light or dark. It depends on how you want to work with her. I work with her on the light side. It, that depends on you. But, you know, you got to think about it. Look at it this way. When you say light or dark, how's she going to be on both sides? It's not that she's on both sides, but you got to think about it. Good people die just like bad people die, right? Death going to hit everybody. I don't give a damn what personality you have, whether you're a good person or a bad person. You see it now? You see the difference? That's what I'm talking about. So how you work with her is how you work with her. I work with her on the lighter side of things. But some people might want to do something dark. Now, I would not suggest that, but you can do what you want to because y'all got pretty good. All right, let's get it. Let's see what's going on with you and your person, Taurus. What's going on with Taurus and their person? What's going on with Taurus and their person? Let me get five cards, spirit. What's going on with Taurus and their person? Oh, oh, oh. About time I had somebody with some. Whew, this is almost decent. <laughs> I ain't had no decent read since Pisces yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of happy. I ain't going to sit here and lie, honey. That stuff been getting heavy on them other reads. Y'all got the y'all starting at the gate with the sun card, the will of fortune upright, the sun upright, the magician upright, the will of fortune in reverse in the eight of wands. Some okay, listen. Y'all are doing really, really good, Taurus. Y'all are happy. Y'all got good luck. It's like you meeting your goals. You have all the tools you need to meet your goals, and you are, and you're happy. It's like luck, the will is moving in your favor. But because the will is moving in your favor, somebody wants to come back and they're getting ready to come in with fast communication because they don't want a cycle to be over. Your luck is looking so good and you're looking so happy. 
Then now somebody from your past, got to be somebody from your past if they don't want the cycle to close. Now they want to come in with some communication. They want to talk to you. But so far, the first three cards make me happy because it's like, oh, it's light. Thank you, God. <laughs> Let's clarify the sun, spirit, guys, and the ancestors of great divine. Please clarify the sun. What's going on with Taurus? Clarify that sun, please. The sun card. Okay. Okay. Oh. Listen. Because you are so happy, somebody feels like now is the best time to approach you for a new start. So somebody has a plan that they want to come in and they want to apologize to you for manipulating a situation and they want to redo it with the food card. They are just, they were just waiting on divine timing. It says, now you're in a happy place, Taurus, and you're smiling and everything seems to be on the up and up. They feel like this is the best time to approach you is why you happy. Not why you mad at them for whatever they didn't did to you. Now will be the time. That if I'm going to blow around Taurus, now will be the time for me to do it. Because they happy. <laughs> so while you're happy, somebody wants to come in and apologize for being manipulative. For hurting you in some kind of way. They waiting. That, they was just waiting on divine time. They knew eventually he was going to get there. And now they think this is the best time to approach you. Clarify the will of fortune in the upright. This person now, yeah, so listen, this person, after not offering you anything, um, they took back their pinnacle for whatever reason, and uh, they wasn't nice to you. The message that they sent to you before was that they wasn't interested, right? Well, now somebody wants to come in with the King of Cups. Now, I'm a little nervous because this King of Cups is drinking from his own cup. He ain't offering his cup. He's drinking from it. So we about to see, is he on some selfish business? Like playing like he care about you, but he really selfish? Let's find out. Clarify the King of Cups. This is somebody who's tried to go out and change their perspective. Clarify the King of Cups. The King of Cups. This King of Cups has changed their perspective. They, they Listen, they're tired of being out in the cold. Baby, they tired of being out in the cold. They tired of being caught with the devil. And after being out here in the cold and being with the devil and being controlled by the devil, honey, it was cold out there. Ooh, I'm so cold, y'all. I ain't lying. It was cold out there. Now they got to come back to Utah because things are looking up for you. And so they want to offer a little love because it's better to be over here with you and be with somebody who can warm you up. <laughs> Clarify the magician, please. Clarify this magician. <laughs> Clarify the magician. The magician is clarified by the King of Wands upright, the Two of Pentacles upright, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse so they're confident that now will be the time to come towards you because you got money it, this, this life is looking good for you Taurus. you are master manifester you're meeting all your goals you got money coming in fast that you looking good you're confident this is yeah 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 this is the best time to get to Taurus. i want to come to Taurus, and guess why you might not like this they want to be two peas in a pod. If you look real close, you see how this person, there's a coin in their hand. This person's handing this person a coin. This person wants to be close to you. Like y'all, two peas in a pod. You see how this two, this two faces coming together? I used to have a friend that say we could come together like two butt cheeks and be the shit. I know that sounds so crazy. <laughs> but they come together like two butterflies. We can be one. Which yours is mine, right? Only one person's giving. You see that, right? One person got their head out. Which yours is mine. We could be two peas in a pie, right? Not what's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. Not vice versa. Y'all caught that, right? Not what's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. We could be two peas in a pie. You got money coming in fast. You looking confident. This is the best time, if there was ever one, to get with you, Taurus. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all better see. Y'all watching. You see what's happening here? The world reverse. Clarify the world reverse spirit.
The world reverse. Okay. Somebody feels like now will be the best time if ever to come towards you with the four of pentacles in reverse, the five of cups in reverse, and the hermit in reverse. This is the best time to attach to you. Because now it looks like you have let go of whatever you was holding back from. They feel like your faith has been restored. So you'll probably let this little thing that happened with y'all go. That's what they think. This is the best time. You're in good spirits. So if there was ever a time that you might like get over what they did, this will be it. You'll let that past thing I did where I walked all over you and manipulated you and hurt you. You'll let it go. Because you're happy now, right? It's the best time because now you ain't going to be in your feelings. You ain't mad. Life is looking good. You're going to probably be like, I, life's so good for me. I let that little shit you did go. That's what they banking on. All right, Taurus. Clarify this. <laughs> they the ones. Somebody wants to come in with fast communication. Yeah, they want to talk to you about how they left things when they walked away. Okay, they know that y'all have been in a stalemate. They know that they wasn't nice to you and they know that they you feel stabbed in the back. But now they think now is the time to talk to you because I'm telling you, they don't think you're going to be as mad because when people are happy, a lot of times when we're happy, we want to stay happy. So we don't want to focus on the bad because we're in a good mood. I don't want to think about that right now. I'm, I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm winning. And that's how they hope you're going to be. You winning. So you're not focusing on what they did wrong to you. But they are going to acknowledge it and say, hey, I wasn't nice to you. I kind of stabbed you in the back. And I know we ain't been talking. You've been kind of closed off to me because of what I did. But I'm sorry. And they think you just going to brush that shit right on off. Now, are you? That remains to be seen. But they definitely going to come in with some fast communication to talk to you about how they left things and how they felt like they stabbed you in the back. Let me get five more cards out here, Spirit. Hmm. Yeah, this person wants to quickly come towards you and talk to you. This person, though. Woo-wee. Oh, yeah, they're going to lay it on thick. <laughs> is gonna lay it on thick but they hurt you i ain't gonna lie this person rushed out and went towards third parties they was just offering their love to everybody else and now it's like now they want to come towards you and offer you love and try to reverse the tower mm. they ain't been out here sleeping around with all these people now they want to come back to you after they didn't laid up i don't like that mm. But they're going to try it anyway. I'm going to just say this, Tars. You ain't nobody's damn dummy. <laughs> Woo, Tars. You ain't nobody's dummy. Woo-wee. This shit is over. You see this person as a burden. You are not going to give them not an ounce of your attention. You have absolutely no faith or confidence in this love offer Period. In your mind, this person has nothing to offer you with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Damn. Death upright. Ten of Wands upright. Six of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. Page of Pentacles. You don't think this person got shit to offer you. Like, oh yeah, I might be in a good mood, but I ain't forgot, boo. <laughs> you ain't forgot. Oh, they thought they was banking on you forgetting. Mm-mm. You ain't forgot. You feel like with them... Going into a commitment is hopeless with the hair font upright and the star right behind it. You feel like a commitment with this person is a waste of your goddamn gone time. You feel like the connection when you did try to have a connection with them, it was one sided. So you 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 ready for this shit to be over? Final nail in the coffin. You have no problem with walking away from them. None. You feel like going back to this partnership, things would just be out of control. And right now, you're winning. When the emperor in reverse next to the three of pentacles, you just think things with them was out of control. You was not growing with them. Things were out of control. Now, though, you're in the position to be the empress. And so you don't want to jeopardize being the empress with somebody who can set the shit on fire. 
to bring you back towards chaos and conflict and competition. Like, why should I invite you back in so you can invite more chaos, more conflict, and more competition? Because you can't control your dang lang or your vagina. You out here on that night of wands. Look at him looking like he riding. <laughs> Somebody riding it. <laughs> riding, baby. It's like, hell no. Nah. You see this shit for what it is. You like, hell no. Nah. I don't need to get back. To where I'm all in my emotions and I ain't got control over myself. You feel like this person ain't nothing but a deceiver. Coming in to put you in the eight of swords. Get you all caught up in your head. Then you got to start all over. You got to heal yourself. Then you going to go back to being back in the nine of wands. Oh, I got to go through the dark night of the soul and stressed out, crying all night. Oh, no. Nah, that's bad news. Page one. This, this shit. This little thing they thinking they getting ready to do. It ain't getting ready to come up off the ground. Absolutely not. You're not about to be in a defeated position. That's what I'm hearing. You don't want... Listen, I'm not about to be defeated in, in a defeated position because somebody's sitting up here with secrets. I don't, I'm not about to deal with you and you got secrets. I'm not about to do that. This person has secrets. I'm not about to be in a defeated position with, with you got secrets. You still hiding shit. Oh, no, you can't be a part of my time. Hell no, nah. because the moment you come back over here, instead of me rising to the top, you expected me to take care of you. Hell no, nah. I'm selfish. I'm selfish now. Tar said they selfish now, and I ain't got no love to give you, boo. So you can just take your little ass <laughs> right back on over there to them damn options. I'm making a very impartial decision. You can go tear your ass back to those many options that them third parties you had all them cups you had all them people you was over there woo and riding that horse with <laughs> you go right on over there because you ain't getting no money out of me i'm not we're not about to break bread this three of cups in reverse you ain't trying to break no bread with this person you ain't celebrating with me. I'm not taking you with me. I am balanced. I am an alchemist. The next person I get into a comp into a relationship with, this is gonna be my true partner. This is gonna be somebody who comes out the gate with justice, balance, truth. Somebody who out the gate wanted to work with me. I'm not going back to the past. That's what I hear you saying, Taurus, because the past didn't work. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm not giving you shit. Six of Pentacles in reverse. So this person might, they're going to want to re come back towards you just to have to redirect because you're not going towards it. You still going to walk away. So they're going to walk towards you and you walking your ass clean away from them. You're going to stay in your independent energy and they don't even see it coming. Unless they watch this reading, now they know what you're going to do. You sitting up here with the Ten of Pentacles, you're not going to let down your guard. Regardless, even if this person sees you as their personal wish fulfillment, you're not letting down your guard. You're protecting your Ten of Pentacles. You have no mercy whatsoever for them to give them a brand new start. So them coming towards you, this is not your ultimate wish fulfillment. Ten of Cups reverse. It's like, hell no. This shit is over. And I ain't talking about like no regular over. This is capital O, capital V, capital E, capital R, over. Ten of, <laughs> the Ace of Swords is in the in reverse. I tell y'all all the time, that's my real death card because normally ain't no son. Now, hers, she the only one who got a son. But most Ace of Swords do not have a son. That means that instead of it transforming, you know, an ending brings a new beginning, this is like when somebody actually dies. Ain't no new beginning. Ain't no more transformation. It really is over. You're telling them that this relationship really is over. So you can come back and try to apologize, but it really is over hallelujah <laughs> ah, i ain't like y'all made me so happy because i get tired of people having at least fried people but coming back now most of my most of my subscribers have said they're not taking a past person back most of, i see the comments a lot of y'all say that they're, they're, they're not but to see somebody like, oh, yeah. Oh, you coming back? Oh, you going to wait till I'm happy? Oh, okay. It's like they playing you like you don't see it. And Tars, you like, I see exactly what you're doing and the shit ain't working. It's still a no. It's still a no. Bravo for you, Taurus. All right, let's get some um, messages of love. Then I got to go close my blinds because it's dark and people can see right on me. All right. 
here. Let me get four cards for Taurus. What's going on between them and a person? Four cards. What's going on between Taurus and a person? I can't believe this. Taurus has got Taurus and got rid of Taurus. Said, oh no, we get rid of that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Patience. Everything will unfold during divine timing. Fate. This person thought that this was fate. That y'all was fated. Marriage. This person wanted to move towards marriage, a sacred union. I bet they did. This person was your twin flame. Damn, some of y'all walking away from twin flame connections. If your twin flame betrayed you, and I mean betrayed the hell out of you, a lot of people across, I've seen it, and even other, other readers, twin flame, it's a lot of people walking away from their twin flame. Some people's twin flame was just like the twin flame from hell. Spell word, backstabbed them, like third party. I mean, some of these twin flames went, like they just went too fucking far. Acceptance, everything happens for a reason. It's looking like Taurus, you're accepting that everything happened for a reason. And you going with rejection. This person rejecting you was divine protection. It was like God seen that you had a blessing coming and got that person out your way before your blessing came in. Because you know, elevation... Right before elevation, there's separation. God does not allow everybody to go with you. And you had the twin flame from hell. One of them. You had, some of y'all had the twin flame from hell. Like I said, spell work, third parties. This person was walking all over you, treating you like shit. And because of that, because of that, spirit had to move that, move you away from that. They wanted to move you clean away from that. Okay. All right, y'all, let me get four cards for Taurus. This is the love oracle. This person feels, they feel lost. They're trying to make this work, but they feel lost. They don't know what to do or say anymore. They just feel like it's, that man, somebody feel real lost without you, Taurus. They feel lost without you. They just quietly lost without you. That's why they've been waiting on you. To, they've been waiting on divine timing to come near you. See, look, soon. They're going to contact you soon. They feel like you are their fantasy. They have pictures and videos saved and they use them as inspiration. They want you. But right now it's just not the right timing because they're overwhelmed with responsibilities and they don't have time or energy for a relationship. They need time to heal. Right now I'm in a space where I need to focus on healing and self-love. This isn't about you. It's about me. That's how you feel. It's about me. Right now, it's just not the right time. You got other shit to worry about. They worried about you. You worried about your own shit. Like I said, a lot of people had the twin flame from hell. It was like, you know, it's like one thing when some people do a little bit, but some of them just went. Like, some of the stuff that some of these twin flames, I was like, damn. Not just my own stuff, but other people's stuff. I was like, damn, they did that to you? Cold. How you be somebody twin flame? You supposed to be my soulmate. The other half to my damn star. And you treat me like that? Mm -mm. You can't see me the same after that. Mm -mm. Like, how are we even the same? Like, you know, that's supposed to be like a shared soul. How the hell we share, we share the same soul and your ass is black, <laughs> black as hell? And when I say black as hell, your heart cold, dark. Negative, mean, real mean. They did a lot of these people did some real mean stuff to these people across the uh board. Like real mean. Alright, Spirit, what you got for Taurus's money? So we can wrap this up. Work hard in silence, Taurus. You're getting ready to move into a leadership position. You're about to be crowned, baby. It's time to step up into that leadership role of your own life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership position you find yourself in. Taurus, your finances are getting ready to greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. It's time to put that crown on, baby. It's time to put on the crown. You were meant to lead. And that's it. You were meant to lead. Step into your power. Own it. And work hard in silence, baby. Business. Do not be intimidated to end the, the business world. You got this. Okay? Consider executive positions. Again, spirit wants you to step. Ooh, I'm getting cold. Spirit wants you to step into a position of power. There might be my ancestors making me cold because I was doing just fine. <laughs> 
that might be them uh, giving me like, cause like the hair on my arms raised up. Now I'm feeling back cool again. So that might be my answers in my, this whole time, making me cold off and on. Elevate your awareness and think bigger if you want to make have different results. So you gonna have to become more self aware. You gonna have to think bigger. You got this, Taurus. Y'all are winning. Look, I'm so happy y'all had a good reading. I hope Aries has a decent reading so I can end on a high note. Because, honey, Capricorn through, yeah, pretty much everybody else up to uh, Gemini. It has been... <laughs> damn silly all right gemini thank y'all for being here on i am the light if you enjoyed the reading please hit the like share and subscribe and until next week y'all can join me during the week for the collectives i, I start those actually tomorrow tuesday through saturday our collectives and then on sunday and monday i pick up on all 12 zodiac signs and uh please hit that like button so we can get out into the algorithm the channel has been growing i do read the comments while the channel's small i'm still reading comments so um Thank y'all for being here. It has been, it's been fun. Y'all didn't put a smile back on my face. My energy is right back up. So on that note, thank you, Taurus, for being here. And until next time, bye, baby.